And right now what we're doing is that we are putting the extruder back together. We are currently cutting the filament that was extra that got jammed with some needle nose pliers. Once we do that, we're going to put the extruder back together. This is the i3 Mark III S from Prusa. I am visually impaired and physically impaired. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. I took apart the Prusa i3 Mark III S extruder. Now I'm putting it back together. What I am doing now is that I am trying to uh, put everything back aligned. I'm trying to see the PTF PTFE tube and I'm trying to cut the extra filament that is there. What was caught was a flexible filament from Amazon. Now I am uh, cutting it and I'm putting back the um, motor mount into the extruder. I'm aligning the uh, actual cartridge back into its housing as you see. I'm putting now the fan shroud back together so I'm able to do what I need to do in putting the two screws that are in the front uh, back into its hole with the allen key as well as putting the two screws in the back. It takes a while of finessing to align everything together but I have it now. I am now utilizing the allen key to screw on the left screw tightly, very tightly, without breaking the piece, because remember it is plastic, and then I'm doing the right screw. First the right, then the left, I'm so sorry. Once I do that, I will be continuing with the screws in the back. Are you seeing what I'm doing? This is my second jam, but I'm able to figure it out now. As you can see, it started to catch and I'm able to tighten it up more. I'm now tightening up the second screws on the back side in a few seconds. I'm now doing the left screw. Like I said, I'm visually impaired. And if I could put this together or fix it, you could do it too. I love my Prusa i3 Mark III S. It is a great piece of work. Now that I have the screw ready and it's getting tighter, I am now going to be turning the Mark III S to its side and do the back screws now. I'm checking that both screws in the front are tight. And now that they are, I'm going to be turning the Prusa around And now I am actually going to use the other screws to tighten it on the back. So the two screws that you see here. that are loose. I also tighten them pretty strongly. FYI, make sure that when you are tightening the screws and untightening everything. There's two uh, magnetic plates for the filament sensor. Uh, there's a ball there and it could come apart, so be careful. I tighten uh, the right screw, now I'm tightening the left screw, as you can see. Or I'm I tighten the left screw, I'm tightening the right screw now, as you can see. And once I do that, I'll be Getting the small screw that's on top of it that is placed on the upper part of the Noctua fan that is black. And once I do that and finish putting that screw in, I'll be putting on the lower screw and that is holding the housing unit for the fan as well as the heater cartridge uh, and the actual block. The piece that you see there that is red that is to put in the filament because I'm currently using the MMMU2 as well as the 
Palette 2 Pro. So I'm now putting this first screw in on the top. Tighten it, making sure I do not break the actual... Uh, a, I do not break the actual fan. Okay. I am now grabbing the second screw, this putting it on bottom. the bottom. There's four screws, or there's four screws. I'm using the two most farthest screws away from the back. So the two front screws, I'm tightening that one. And now that I have that, I am set. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching my channel. Please rate, subscribe, and always enjoy. Thank you so very much. Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I am putting my extruder back apart, back together again. Uh, the way that you take your extruder apart is doing the opposite things that I just did. So you take these two screws out, the two screws in the back, and the two screws in the front. Do not take the two screws out completely or the two screws in the front completely. Just slightly so you could take the motor mount off the actual uh, extruder. Ok. Yo lo que hice fue abrir mi extrudor porque tuve parte del filamento que se quedó atascado adentro del, de los piñones. Y para yo hacer eso tuve que quitar estos dos tornillos. Estos dos tornillos en el Prusa i3 Mark III son de diferentes eh, eh, tamaños. So el primero, eh, el de arriba primero, el de abajo después. Eh, hay dos tornillos adelante que destornillé hasta el punto donde no se quitaban completamente, pero podía quitar el motor y el extrudor. Eso, eso fue uno. Y la otra cosa fue que... La otra cosa fue que yo quité los dos tornillos que están atrás para poder eh, eh, quitar totalmente el motor. Esto me, me tomó aproximadamente cinco minutos. Mucho cuidado porque aquí hay uh, imanes en este extrudor. So, tienes que estar muy cuidadoso porque aquí hay una bola eh, metálica y esa bola lo que hace es de que hace mover eh, dos imanes para que el filamento pueda entrar. Perfecto. Eh, mi nombre es Juan Carlos Gil. Eh, muchísimas gracias por estar parte de mi canal y hasta la próxima. Hasta luego. Bye bye. I just want to thank Prusa Printing for allowing me to showcase how to open up the i3 Mark III S and thank you so very much for the great opportunity with all my prints. Even I am printing with flexible filament. Thank you so very much. Take care and to the next video. Bye-bye.